Welcome to another room tour at Shades of Green. This one's gonna be a little bit different than the past ones that we've done. We've shown you guys a standard room, a poolside room, all of the suites. We tried to show you the differences between the Magnolia and the Palm side, but today I kinda of wanna show you what's the worst that you can get at Shades of Green. Everybody talks about how great it is, the value of the room is wonderful, and it's a great price, but you have to realize that some of these rooms are a little bit outdated. But what people really wanna know is how outdated are some of the rooms. Some of them have been renovated more recently than the others. Whenever you book a standard room, you could end up with one of the renovated ones or one of the not renovated ones. Some of them are showing their age a little bit, they are outdated, and there's just a few things that I want to point out just so you're aware that you could end up in a room like this if you don't request something specific. We're staying in the Magnolia Wing, which is over here on this side of the property. You'll notice here's the parking garage, and then the wing connected to that is the Palm Wing. The lobby is directly in the middle, and the exchange is over here. This section over here with the pools, this is the Magnolia Wing. So this is where we're staying. We're staying in room 317, which is going to be right here. I know that says 217, that's going to indicate the second floor. So if you're staying on the third floor, it's 317. If you're on the fourth floor, it's 417 and so forth. So that's how you find your way on the map. But this is where we're staying right here. So we're facing the Magnolia Golf Course. We can also see the Magnolia or the Adult Pool right here. And then right here at number seven, this is going to be Chippendales. This is the golf course uh, little food shack, I guess you can call it. They've got sandwiches, breakfast sandwiches, and that kind of thing. So it's going to be right outside our door right here. So as soon as you come in the room and turn around, this is what your door looks like. You have this magnet that you can place on the outside. This is please do not disturb. These are metal, so you can put magnets on these doors on the front and the back. People always ask if they can decorate their doors and that kind of thing. I know that's popular to do at Disney resorts. You can do it here. They just ask that you take it down when you're finished so that the staff doesn't have to clean up after you, which is fair. So walking into the room, on the right you have the bathroom. This is gonna be an outdated bathroom. So remember I was saying that some of the rooms have been updated. This is one of the rooms that's just showing her age. The first thing that I notice is the drop ceiling and it's just your standard old drop tile ceiling. It's not perfect. You'll see over here, it's kind of separating, you know, in the corners and stuff. And there's a lot of humidity in here, so I mean, I'm sure that that's why. The shower head, you know, it's older. It's got a little bit of wear and tear, some rust on here. We've got the outdated tiles. And then of course, in the tub, the paint is chipping a little bit. Some of this blue is from my shampoo, so ignore that part. But these chips right here are actually chipped paint on the, on the tub. It's clean, I will add that it is clean. It's just, it could use some some paint and some, some love. We have the curved shower curtain rod right here. And then we've got this, you know, this curtain with the sheer on top and then the snap, like the pull away part on the bottom. There's a couple outlets on the wall. We've got our soap and our lotion. This is kind of like new for Shades of Green. They used to leave the little bottles and they've switched recently to these pumps. The soap is okay, the lotion is okay. The soap doesn't um, suds up really well like what I'm used to, but it works and it smells decent. It's got kind of like a, a light orange smell. The lotion is thin, but it's smooth, it's nice. Um, it's not too thick. You've got a couple cups here, you'll have tissues right here, a little bar for your hand towel, um, some wash rags right here, and then in this bag right here in this little cubby is going to be the hair dryer. I've seen people ask this, so I'm going to go ahead and show it. This is the hair dryer that comes in the room. It's a Con Air. It's a very, very basic blow dryer. High, off, and low. There are no diffuser attachments. There is nothing special about it, but it does the job. I also want to point out that this is a single vanity room. You can request a double vanity, which we usually do, but I wanted to show you guys what a single vanity room looks like. So it's not separate from the toilet, but it does have this partition here. So you'll have your sink, your tub, 
and then right over here is the toilet and then above it are going to be some towels for you when you check in we're checking out today so i'm showing you guys all of this after the fact but whenever we got here there were at least four towels the vent on the wall not the best i have to say i think it's where it needs to be however when i have a vent in my bathroom i like it to suck out some of the humidity and it doesn't it doesn't do a great job so whenever you get out of the shower your mirror is going to be you know covered in condensation and all of that so it does take a little bit for it to clear off so you can do your makeup this is your towel bar here and they just have a couple hand towels on it for you and then there's this hook on the wall back here if you want to put your clothes or something like that and then on the back of the door you do have a full length mirror coming out of the bathroom directly across from me is the closet inside is pretty standard we have an ironing board some hangers some valet laundry service slips here if you want to use that there's an iron up here and then there's this bag here that has extra pillows and blankets and then in the back over here is the safe but speaking of the extra pillows and blankets we do use those because on the bed when you check in there's only going to be two pillows on the bed so over here you'll see two pillows over here this is where we slept there's four we pulled the extra ones down and we use those the pillows are pretty um, thin so we like to double up that's just our preference along the side of the bed over here you'll see an outlet it's just a standard outlet just a three-prong outlet there's no USB or anything like that but it's there and then on the wall is our pretty outdated thermostat it works so I can't really complain but you can tell it's pretty yellow but we haven't had any issues since we've been here it's been pretty cool in our room so no complaints also I want to point out that this room is a connecting room so this door right here does connect to the room right next to us I wanted to point that out because if you are a light sleeper or you're coming with young children or a baby or um, you're just sensitive to sound, these rooms you can hear your neighbors. If their voices are just projecting, you'll be able to hear it. We woke up pretty early this morning to our neighbors cackling. So it was like 6.30 in the morning and we heard them clear as day through this door. Now I will say we've stayed in standard rooms before that were not connecting and we didn't have this door and I never heard anybody. Now that could be a coincidence because maybe the people next to us just weren't loud people and maybe this time they are loud people but I would take that into consideration if you just want to like make sure that you end up in a quiet room. I would request that whenever you make your reservation just put in the additional notes that you do not want a connecting room and then you should have better luck than we did. I will say though if you're coming with a larger group and maybe you're not able to get a suite this is a nice option so you could have your family split up and get the connecting room adults can sleep in here older kids can sleep in the next room or if you have in-laws or grandparents and you guys want to stay together that's a great option but for noise purposes I would ask for a non-connecting room if you want to ensure that you have a little bit more peace and quiet something else i should mention again i apologize we have some trash in this trash can because we've been here for a few days but these are the trash cans that they give you they give you this one standard trash can and then a recycle bin they do not put trash bags in them so if that's something that you feel like you need i would bring them with you if you have dirty diapers things like that it might be a good idea just to pack a few in your suitcase they don't take up that much room and it's just a lot easier to do it that way if you just want to be a little more discreet with your trash the nightstand over here between the beds the lamps have these outlets here on the side and sometimes they're fine sometimes they're a little bit loose but they've always worked for us and then on this one we've got a couple usb ports right here and then a couple other outlets right here so this is nice not every room has this though and then this is actually something that's a little updated is this alarm clock you also have a usb up here you have a usc which is really really nice and then a couple more regular outlets and then over here looking at the tv we have three drawers and then we have this mini fridge or sometimes they call it a cooler because it's small it's a magic chef when you open it you'll notice there's this little section here that's the freezer so some of these do not have this 
Some of them are just a fridge, so that may be your cooler. This one actually does have this little frozen section, and it works pretty good. We bring ice packs to take into the park, and we put them in there each night, and they stay pretty frozen. But you could take this little drawer or this little rack out, and you could probably fit like a gallon of milk in there, or a couple half gallons, several bottles of water. You could put cheese in here, yogurt, that kind of stuff, medicine if you have it. It does the job. This is the coffee maker. So I've shown this in other tours as well. This is pretty much the same in this room. It's a Cuisinart. It can make one cup or two cups, depending on which you select. Cafe Uno is the brand of coffee that they provide. And these are gonna be filtered packs. These are not K-cups, so you can't bring K-cups from home. But you can get these off Amazon if you look for the filtered coffee pods. This is what they are. You just put your little pod in here right in there and then you can put the water back here up to two cups turn it on on the side and it makes your coffee easy peasy they give you a couple cups here some coffee mate creamers and then a couple packets of sweetener stirring straw napkins that kind of thing and then right behind the coffee is going to be another charging outlet so there's a couple usbs here and then a couple standard outlets as well so that's really nice i've got my little uh, battery pack charger in there right now we have this floor lamp here which is eh, not putting off too much light but it's good at night there's an outlet on the wall back here behind this pull out sofa and then over here we just have our table and two chairs and just this little flush mount light above it. This is a pull-out sofa. I've shown this in another video. If you look for the Palm Suite tour, I show the whole thing being pulled out, but it's pretty easy to do. They give you directions right here. Now I talked about the location of the room, so I wanna show you guys the view from our balcony. We have two chairs out here and a small table, but it's pretty spacious. And if you look out, you'll see the golf course over here. And then right over here, where you see those people walking, there's some tables and chairs. This building right here is Chippendales. It's a deli, so they have sandwiches with boar's head meat, like ham, turkey, that kind of stuff. They've got chips, different snacks, beer, um, soda, that kind of thing, different kinds of tea, but we're in a good location for it, so you just need to go downstairs and come out right over here, and you can just walk over there. But you could get breakfast sandwiches too. We've done that a few times on our stay this time. And then right over here, if you look right there, that's gonna be the adult pool, the Magnolia pool. So this is the more quiet area. The other pool is where all the kids go. It's got the splash pad and all that. This is more, um, more chill. If you're here at night in your room and you hear fireworks, that's because Magic Kingdom is right over here. So last night we actually stood out here and watched the fireworks and we could see them really well just coming up right over this tree. And if you're really quiet, you can even hear the music playing too. So while some of these rooms could use a little bit of an update, it's still a great value for the price. So the standard rooms in 2023 are going for $174 a night. The price is going to be the same all year long. The prices don't fluctuate like Disney hotels where, you know, depending on the time of year it could vary. The price is going to be $174 all year long. Each year in October, it's the military's fiscal year, October 1st the price will change. So in October of 2024, the price of a standard room for category one will go up to 176. Category one is gonna be E1 through E6. Check the rates on the website because depending on your rank is gonna determine what price you pay. The lower your rank, the lower your price. So even though these rooms are a little bit outdated, I still think the value is there. You're still getting a 450 square foot room with a balcony, fireworks view, right? If you can look past the imperfections, I think you're going to have a great stay. A lot of people, when they come to Disney, they don't spend a ton of time in the room anyways, so I think it's easy to look past. But if you guys are watching this and you're like, I cannot stay in a room with drop ceilings, or I cannot stay 
in a room where I can hear other people. You definitely need to leave those comments in the additional notes section when you're making your reservation. That way the staff can note that on your profile and when you check in they'll give you a room that's appropriate. So for instance, when we come I like to have a double vanity. I like to spread my stuff out and have my space away from Tim and Story. So I always ask for a double vanity. Typically when you ask for a double vanity the rooms are going to be a little bit more updated anyways so you won't have those drop ceilings. You'll have the regular drywall ceiling. But if location is important to you then definitely mention that as well. If you want to be facing a golf course let them know. If you want to be um, in an area where you can see the fireworks, absolutely let them know and they'll try to accommodate you. If you want to be close to an elevator, if you want to be close to the parking garage, make your request known so that they can try to make your stay as pleasant as possible. They're always going to try to accommodate you if they know what you're looking for. So I hope that was helpful. If you haven't seen any of the other tours that we have, I'm going to link that playlist down below. We've got all of the suite tours. Like I said, I have a poolside room tour. I've got a palm wing standard room tour as well. So if you want to watch that one next, maybe you can point out the differences that we talked about. But sadly for us, it's checkout day. So I have to go now. Tim and Story are waiting downstairs for me. They got my Starbucks waiting. And we're going to go ahead to Disney Springs. So thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you on the next video. But until then, don't forget to be happy, not just strong. Yeah.